Welcome back to my channel. So how are you all doing today? And welcome to Dr. Bemis' channel. If you're new to my channel, welcome guys. Okay, let's dive into the topic for today. I'm very sure from the thumbnail, you can already tell what the topic is for today. Mental health. And this has really been bothering me for some time now. And I just felt I needed to really address this issue and then talk about it because on my Instagram, I wrote something on mental health but I just felt it would be better if I actually made a video because I feel at times when people watch videos it could actually relieve them of the stress and that people can relate better watching videos so some days ago I watched a clip on Instagram and then I saw this guy climbing up to a very high mast and then people were wondering what is he doing up there you know and as I continued watching this video clip the next thing I saw was this guy actually jumped and everyone started shouting. Being the fact that I watched that video, I felt really concerned and I was like, I really don't get it. What is really the cause of the suicide? To be sincere, depression is real. And when people have mental issues, it's a really big deal. It's not until when you see people how they, you know, in rap, you see people just wandering around talking to themselves and you feel people are actually suffering from some mental diseases. No, it doesn't have to get to that point. There are times that people are just so depressed and I, I spoke with someone, but one of my Uber drivers and then, you know, we just go talking because whenever I take Uber rides like that, I love to really, you know, engage in some conversations with the Uber driver and all that. So we go talk and then he got to know that I am a doctor and then he opened up to me and said he's really depressed and he's just tired and stuff like that and he said all he hears is there's just this inner voice telling him what to do this inner voice is what really controls people it's this inner voice that actually takes over people and tells them what to do I'm sure that man that saw that mask I'm sure the inner man would have told him go climb that mask and would have also told him jump you know these are several ways that people just kill themselves commit suicide now, now let's really talk about this inner man who exactly is this inner man there's nothing else other than the mind it's it's the mind. Everything we do in this life is controlled by our minds. You know, it ranges from what we see, what we hear, here and there. The mind will process things that the mind heard. The mind will process things that the mind saw. The mind will process things that were actually tasted. So that's the thing and that's why we always say watch what you feed yourself with and people will tell you oh I don't even want to watch the news because everything I see over there is actually bad news. As time goes on as you keep feeding yourself with all this information it builds up in the mind. When you fill up a can right with fluid when it reaches its limits if you keep pouring it in there then it overflows. And if the container is something that wouldn't take more than that, it could explode. Now, this is what happens to a lot of people. People really explode as a result of the information they have received and they have processed in their minds. Okay, now I'm going to leave that for, you know, the psychologists, the psychiatrists. But what I'm just going to say right here is, if you know you're going through any form of depression, try to seek help. Try to speak out to someone. If no one is listening to you, you own your body. You know your mind. You know how your mind works. If you feel something is wrong with you, just the same way we feel sick and we go to the hospital, we go to the clinic. If you know something is wrong with your mind, just walk into any hospitals around. Speak to one of the doctors. Speak to one of the nurses. They will refer you to a specialist. They will refer you to a psychiatrist. They will refer you to a psychologist. They will tell you what to do because these are cases that they handle all the time. So you need to seek help. That is the first thing. And secondly, you know, this is where my own part really comes to play. I am a motivational speaker and I love to encourage people. Really, I, I just still always feel there's nothing in this world that could be as bad or as terrible to the point of one person taking his or her life. It's, it's just not worth it, really. You know, it, it's so funny that the world we live in right now, like 
you know there's so much competition out there there's so much fake lives out there there's so much fake things out there you know you just see everyone glowing to be sincere nobody is telling you the truth nobody is opening up nobody is going to come tell you oh these are the problems i've got no we all try to cover up our bad sides and then we show up the good sides to people we want to see people see us look good we want people to see us you know look really radiant but trust me everyone has a sad moment everyone has a trying moment so don't think it's you don't think oh this is what i've been passing through for the past few years of my life for the past 10 years come on you have passed through this for some years then why give up now why do you think committing suicide is the way out no it's not an option really and it's not the solution to the problem you know an idle mind is the devil's workshop and trust me at times it's not even when you're idle the devil at times targets that moment that you're thinking when you're just all alone you know when people say oh i just want to be left alone when you really want to sit down and really give some things a thought different thoughts will cross your mind and trust me 90 percent of the thoughts that will cross your mind will be the evil thoughts and it will always point at oh why don't you just end it right now and remember the world is not made for the soft people if you are too soft in this world the world will break you now who are the people in this world we are the people in the world you your siblings your family members your friends your colleagues the world is made up of different people so now think of it why do you have to take your own life just because you're undergoing a pressure from someone why i actually had a patient a young guy in his early 20s that went on ranting oh i had a problem with my girlfriend with my relationship and all that this guy has actually been on antidepressants now tell me just because of a relationship you subject yourself to being on antidepressants is it really worth it you know, do you have to kill yourself because of a girl there's an adage that says when you kill yourself because of one girl trust me one million girls will cross over that person's grave yes that's how it is let me just say something out there it's not worth it in taking your own life for anything no matter what it is that you're going through taking your life is not just an option because even when you die some people will still be satisfied why do you have to take your life in the first place you can never satisfy anyone in this world that's one thing i want you to know you can never satisfy yourself in this world and you would always encounter challenges even when you overcome one there's still going to be another one ahead of you it's a continuous process it's called living life you know nowadays people just feel the only thing to do is just to take their own lives come on guys really death is not a good thing death is a really sad thing and how would you even feel if you can really see yourself after death and then you found out that those you killed yourself for are not even mourning you they're not even sad or you eventually found out that they were even happy that you killed yourself is out of the game we saw him as a competitor and thank god he's out you know the next time that thought comes to your mind i want you to think of a lot of things i want you to consider yourself as a human being in god's image no matter what your religion is no matter what it is that you believe in that you serve I'm very sure there is never a place that says that taking your life is an option. And secondly, how about your parents? How about your loved ones? Why do you want to just keep them money for the rest of their lives? And thirdly, how about your children? Even if you don't have kids right now, do you even think of your future babies? You didn't just kill yourself. You didn't just destroy your own destiny but you also destroy the destinies of children that ought to have come through you you've actually destroyed some generations of yours 
guys, even if it's just one person that will see this video, please, I beg you and I beg of you, never consider suicide as an option. Never consider suicide as the way out. So guys, that's all I just wanted to discuss and that's all I just have to say. And remember, if there is anyone you want to talk to, I am always available. You can always reach me through my, my emails or you can just DM me. And trust me, I would always be ready to speak to you. And I'll always be ready to provide that advice. Or even if it's just a shoulder to lean on that you need, I would always be ready to provide that for you. So till another time, guys, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video. And have a great day. Bye, guys.